Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are the energies between you and what can you expect in the near future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching every single time. So take what resonates for you. Capricorn's person, please. Clear and concise message, please, for Capricorn. Regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with. What are they thinking about Capricorn? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Capricorn or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? I am dealing with a difficult situation. Okay. Can I get one more? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Capricorn? Please wait for me just a little bit longer. Okay, so these two go well together. They're dealing with a difficult situation that's keeping them from moving or taking action or something. They're asking you to wait for them because they can't get something done right now. Okay, maybe they can't be with you right now because of this other situation. What else? What else do we need to know for Capricorn Spirit? What are they thinking, feeling? What are their energies towards Capricorn? What are their energies? Falling leaves, time changes everything, changes transition time. So this person's probably going through some sort of change or transition in their life right now. Things are changing for them, or perhaps there's a change that's happening in your connection. Past life and new beginnings. Definitely there's changes happening in this connection. But I feel like the past is almost getting in the way here or the past is uh, this difficult situation. Um, that's kind of what I'm picking up here. This could be an ex as well. Someone that you were with uh, in the past. Maybe they couldn't commit to you in the past and they're trying to change that um they want you to wait for them a little bit longer so i feel like something's already in motion here and perhaps they just need a little bit more time to seal the deal <laughs> do what they need to do get out of this, this difficult situation whatever it is what else what else for capricorn what else do we need to know about what this person's thinking feeling about capricorn what else do we need to know Please forgive me. A lot of please, a lot of things that they're asking for here. What else for, for Capricorn? You matter to me. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to convince you um, or just reaffirm, almost like they wanna reassure you here and reaffirm how they feel. Yeah, I love you at the bottom of the deck, exactly. It's, it's like they wanna, because they're waiting for something or they're making you wait, it's like they're concerned that you think that you don't matter to them. And it's like they want to reassure you that that's not the case. Um, they want this new beginning or they, they, they want this change to happen or something like that. All right, so let's jump into the tarot. What do we need to know for Capricorn? regarding this person's thoughts, feelings, energies. We're gonna look at what they're thinking or feeling about you in the top row and their actions or intentions in the bottom row for Capricorn Spirit. What do we need to know about their thoughts, feelings, intentions? Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, and what they're thinking or feeling, we have the Seven of Pentacles, reverse, Justice Reverse. Okay, this is looking very similar to the Virgo reading. <gasps> no way. Actually, no. Okay, I got scared because I was going to say, did you really get the same three cards in the top row? But I think this page of Pentacles reverse was in the bottom row. And I shuffled. Some of you, if you're dealing with a Virgo, watch the Virgo reading. Okay, and their next actions or true intentions, we have the Four of Cups reverse. The Emperor reverse Aries energy, the Devil reverse Capricorn energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. 
So I'm dealing with a difficult situation. Um, some of you, if you're dealing with a Virgo, they had something similar as well. Um, in the sense that I felt like there was a karmic partner or some sort of situation. The devil reverse, the seven of pentacles reverse, um, justice reverse. This could also be a karmic situation here that your person's dealing with. Um, seven of pentacles reverse. I feel like this is somebody that um, they invested in the wrong thing or uh, whatever they put energy into in the past did not bear fruit, did not pan out for them. Seven of Pentacles reverse could be that someone is almost like, you know, they wasted their time or they wasted their effort. It didn't grow. It didn't manifest. Um, so we'll see what that's all about. Emperor reverse and Justice reverse right on top. Libra energy with Justice and then Aries energy here with the Emperor reverse. I feel like something feels unfair, like the situation's out of someone's control. And so they can't bring you something small. Page of Pentacles reverse. Um, although the devil is reversed. So this is somebody overcoming a situation, breaking free of a difficult situation or an attachment. So it could just be that the this is delayed. You know, we'll see. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. What's behind here? Eight of Wands reverse, and the Page of Swords reverse, and the Five of Swords. Yeah, there's there's conflicts all around. I think that this person, it's almost like they they love you despite the craziness that's happening in their life, or they hold on to the fact that they have these feelings for you, because right now things are not great. Whatever they invested in is ending. Um, or led to an ending. Can I get one more for the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Um, I get the feeling that this is outside of you. I'm dealing with a difficult situation. So some sort of situation that happened outside of you perhaps, or uh, a situation that has kept them from you in some way. Can I get one more? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> it's almost like they uh, were waiting and waiting for something to happen. And it, 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 I don't know. I feel like it it ended in heartbreak and disappointment with the Ten of Swords. I feel like this person was left waiting or something just didn't work out the way that they thought it would. Tell me about Justice Reverse. Three of Cups. Tell me about Justice Reverse. I feel like this is a third party uh, situation. Six of Cups, yeah. This could also be that they want to reunite with you, make things right, um, come together, right? And but it, but they just can't. Justice is reversed, so something is unfair, unbalanced, um, not right, basically. Um, but the Three of Cups here and the Six of Cups also makes me think of the Seven of Pentacles reverse, almost like someone invested in something um, with another person and it just didn't work out or something got in the way here. Let me see, can I get one more for justice reverse? Why is justice reverse? Why is justice reverse? Strength, Leo energy, and then the 10 of wands. Yeah, they're just dealing, I, I, honestly, I feel like this person is just being kept from you. They're being prevented from being with you, uh, they're overwhelmed, bogged down by something here with the Ten of Wands. Something that they have to be really strong to overcome, really brave to overcome here with the Strength card. You know, I feel like if they were to come together with you, it would make, you know, all of this would turn around, but that hasn't happened yet. They haven't been able to have justice. Tell me about Page of Stone, well, Page of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? This is literally that play, please just wait for me a little bit longer. Yeah, because they have to leave a situation, Six of Swords. They're in transition here with the Six of Swords. They would need to move forward here. Move on. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, what's this? And the Seven of Swords. Interesting, so I've, I almost picture this person like sneaking out and then I have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It's like they have to fight their way out of this situation. 
Yeah, Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, interesting. With these two cards, the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords, I almost think of someone sneaking away in the middle of the night or like leaving unexpectedly. Um, but it's for the, the lovers. So I feel like this person is doing this because they want to have this. And it's like they have to fight something else to get it. Okay, tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. This is typically a nice card when it's reversed because it basically means that someone wasn't interested in, in something, wasn't open to something, but that is now changed. There's renewed interest or they're open to an opportunity or an idea now. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Three of Wands, yeah. I think that this person realized what they truly wanted or changed their mind and it's almost like, yeah, they would have to work to get it back. Eight of Pentacles, or this is gonna take a lot of energy, a lot of focus, a lot of effort, you know? Yeah, to get what they want, Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that's changed their mind. They've had a change of heart. And now they want you to wait for them, basically. So why the Emperor reverse? Why the Emperor reverse? The King of Pentacles, okay, why the Emperor reverse? I think they want to be stable, grounded. They probably want to be this King of Pentacles, but they're not. Yeah, because I feel like this person, it, it it's almost like they've been worn out or brought down a peg. Maybe they were an emperor before, but this difficult situation that they're in is almost like it's, it's sapping their strength or, you know, it's been so difficult that this person is now like trying to get back to who they were. I also feel like with the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles, yeah, Page of Wands and the Tower and the Magician, yeah, the, for them to, <sighs> some of you need to watch the Virgo reading because it's very similar energy. I feel like with the Magician and the Tower, it's almost like this person, for them to get what they want, a tower would have to happen. That's the way that they get victory here, Six of Wands, you know, but they, they have to start again, I feel, with the Page of Wands. And maybe the King of Swords is just somebody um, coming to this realization or wanting to talk things out. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Swords. King of Swords is very intelligent, very astute. Tell me about the King of Swords. Wow, yeah. Wow, yeah. The Death card, Scorpio energy, and the Eight of Swords. So basically, a complete ending of a situation that someone's been trapped in. Um, a complete change, a turnaround, seeing a way out of a situation here with death and the Eight of Swords. And I feel like this is somebody that understands, has clarity, has information, is being very intelligent, or just knows that this is necessary. For them to fight back, they, need, they have to be very honest with themselves here. I feel like this is somebody that knows, yeah, Seven of Wands and the Magician, again, it's like they know what they have to do. They know what they have to do, Capricorn. It's just, it's gonna take a little bit of time is what I'm picking up here. And also for them to be very strategic here with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Devil Reverse. Tell me about the Devil Reverse. Okay. The Magician, Six of Wands and Temperance, definitely. Getting out of this situation, I feel, is gonna bring things back into balance. Sagittarius energy there with Temperance. It's almost like with time, this Magician and Six of Wands will happen. Now, Temperance is definitely a card about patience. Um, it's a card about slowly putting something back into balance or slowly regaining balance, regaining harmony. Uh, being, you know, moderated or ha uh, doing things in moderation, you know. So I think this person basically all, they need time to get out of their situation now that they've had a change of heart. Something has changed for them when it comes to your connection, Capricorn. Let me get one more card. What else do we need to know about their intentions? Next actions. 
Now, in terms of next actions, I think it's a departure from um, this difficult situation. Yep, and there's the vulture, exactly. The vulture is kind of like having to clean up after your mess, having to, um, you know, basically do the dirty work. And that's exactly your person's energy here. They have to do the dirty work to get out of a situation. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn, and how your person's thinking or feeling about you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.